Hi, Alex here from rebelloper.com and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to this tutorial series on Firebase's passwordless email sign-in with the help of, of course, Swift 5. So, in the previous video, we have uh, been uh, doing some setup things because we have created our project and we have created our app in App Store Connect and in our Firebase's console. So now it's time to move even further and set up everything that we need to handle all of the dynamic links inside our app in the console. So first up, uh, let's create an iOS app because that is what we want to do. So let's click on iOS there and let's grab our bundle identifier. So let's copy that out and let's paste that in there. And let's click on register app. That is it. Let's just wait for that. And let's download the Google service info playlist file. And uh, we are going to add that to our project. So let's just go ahead and I will just drag and drop it under the info playlist file. So let's click on finish there. And uh, if you are downloading a lot of info playlist files, uh, you will see that they will be numbered. So let's just delete that from their name because otherwise this will not work. Let's go back to our browser, click on next. And uh, uh, it says that you need to uh, install Firebase Core. We already did that. So let's click on the next there. And we need to configure Firebase app. So let's do that right now. Let's go to App Delegate. First of all, let's import, import Firebase Core. Okay. And in the application, did finish launching with options. Let's add in here. Firebase app dot configure. And that is it for uh, this uh, step. So let's go and click on next here. And it is waiting for verification. We are going to skip this step. We don't really need to do that. Okay. Next up, we want to go to our settings. So click on this cog and select project settings. There we go. And um, let's do some basic stuff. And uh, uh, let's create this public facing name because this project <laughs> nine and so on four nine, it's kind of uh, uh, silly. So let's see here. Our public facing name should be, let's say no password. Okay, no password sign in. Okay, that would be real nice and it will be recognizable when you will see that later on. Okay, let's click on save and um, let's just scroll all the way down and we need to provide our App Store ID and our team ID. These are needed because in just a moment we are going to set up a dynamic link and we cannot really set up dynamic links without the App Store ID. So let's go back to our App Store Connect and here you will see your Apple ID. If you're not already in here, select your app and select app information and uh, just copy out your Apple ID and uh, go back to the Xcode uh, Firebase console and just edit the App Store ID. Okay, click on save. And now we need to add our team ID. Well, that is inside our um, identifier, our Xcode projects identifier, but it's pretty easy to uh, get it from the Apple's developer portal. So developer.apple.com, that is where you want to go and select your account. Make sure that you select uh, maybe memberships or rather yet I will, uh, let me just uh, show you. So under memberships, here you have uh, this one, okay? And that is your team ID. And uh, most probably the uh, app ID prefix will be the same. But just to make sure that you do add uh, the right ID in, you have to add in your app IDs prefix, okay? So let's go to certificates, IDs and profiles. And uh, 
select the app IDs and just find your ID. So Firebase, maybe. And there we go. Firebase passwordless sign in. And here you can see that under the prefix we have the same, but it's not quite. So let's copy that. 99% of, of the time that will be the same, but make sure that you copy and paste that in. So let's click on save. There we go. Great. Now, what else do we need to do? First of all, let's uh, uh, create a database because we are going to save all of this data in the days. When a user signs in, we are going to save uh, their email, their UID and their uh, timestamp onto the database. So let's select start in test mode. Let's enable it. And that is it for the database. Uh, for this video, we are going to move on to enabling email authentication. Okay, let's select authentication. And as you can see, we haven't set up a sign in method just yet. So let's click on that. And we are going to select email and password. So let's uh, enable it. There we go. And here we have an email link passwordless sign in. So this is the magic uh, switch that you need to uh, enable. Okay. And finally click on save. There we go. Okay, we are going to come back to this authentication page in just a moment. But let's just scroll all the way down and select dynamic links. Okay, now dynamic links is basically how you will get back from that verification email to your app. Okay, now let's create a new dynamic links by selecting or clicking rather yet on get started. And here you can see here we need to add a domain. Now, as you can see, Google is kind of providing you what you should have. And this Firebase passwordless sign in a page dot link is quite good. But if you don't want to, you can add anything else. I suggest that you go with the Google provided domains. Okay, uh, let's click on continue. And it will verify because yeah, you can't really have a developer.page or google.page.link. And once it is verified for use, let's click on finish. Okay. And what you want to do next is basically create a new dynamic link. So let's do that. Let's click on new dynamic link. And of course, you will see all of this coming together in the upcoming tutorials where I use all of this set up in the code. So uh, let's set up uh, our short URL link. And well, it, it's not that short, but yeah, Firebase passwordless signing is kind of uh, long, but hey, you will have smaller ones. Basically, your uh, app title will be there. So I will just delete this and I will add in here open. Okay, and this is our link preview. Really good. Let's click on next. Now, there's something uh, you need to set up and that is your dynamic link. And uh, uh, here we have our deep link URL. Now, what is that? Well, basically, that is what we need to set up here. So let's uh, find our deep link URL. And for that, let's just go back to authentication, but I will just uh, right click on it and open it up in a new tab so we don't get uh, this process lost. And if you select sign in method, just scroll all the way down and you will see uh, our default domains and just copy and paste this fire fear uh, passwordless sign in uh, dot firebase app.com. So let's copy that out and paste that in there. And maybe we need to add HTTPS, HTTPS there. So we get a valid deep link URL. And I will name this open app because we are going to open up the app once uh, we click on the email. Now, next up, we define our link behavior for iOS. And of course, that is open the deep link in your iOS app. We don't want to open that URL in a browser. Okay, once uh, you click on that, you will be able to select your app and do that now. And 
we are going if you are not the app is not installed then we want uh, the user to be taken to the app store page of our app finally let's click on next for android we can open that link in the url that is fine and campaign tracking i won't bother with this but uh, if you really want to make this really nice you can add a preview title a preview image url make sure that is https and is available on the web and some description okay uh, but it's it's not important for signing up okay uh, let's hit create and we will finally have our dynamic link created and once that is done we need to whitelist it so go ahead and hover over here and click on copy url and what we want to do is go back to our authentication and under authorized domains let's click on add domain and paste that in there but what you want to do is delete uh, Till, uh, you see only just the link and maybe this HTTPS because it's not needed so let's click on add and now we do have this link whitelisted for our app now in the next video I will go ahead and jump into Xcode and use all of this to basically set up some other stuff so we can connect to our Firebase app now, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to get notified of new videos as they do come out. And as usual, I will see you in the next one.